Next, I want to show you how to set up a drawing sheet now um, for your project. So up to the top here, we're going to click a new page. We have our parts finished, we have our assemblies finished, and now we're going to move on to a drawing sheet. So click on drawing and OK. I'll just give it a second to load. It'll give you different options for the size of the drawing sheet. We're going to click on A3 because your project is A3 and OK. Now that opens up an A3 sheet. Now it's already shown me things to bring in. Don't worry about that just yet. We want to set up the sheet um, before we bring in any views of the project. Now it gives us a border and title block there already. You can use that, but sometimes it looks neater if you do your own border, like a simple clean border and title block, the same as what you're doing on a drawing sheet. Click the arrow beside sheet one, click the arrow beside sheet format, and you can right click on sheet format and delete. And that should delete the whole border and title block so it's nice and clean. Now, if you want to edit the sheet format, you're going to right click, edit sheet format there, and now we can draw our border and title block. The reason why we do it in sheet format and not on the sheet is so that when you bring in your views, the sheet format won't change. It'll stay locked in place, it'll go grey, um, and it'll not move around later on. So once you're in there, then we can go into um, annotation. No, sorry, sketch to begin with, rectangle. You can draw your border. We can't measure to the edge of the page, so we just guess what looks like 10 mil. And then I'm gonna go back up here, sketch a line, and I'm gonna do my title block down in the bottom corner. So I'm gonna start on that line there, over and straight down, and press escape. We can put measurements on that then, annotation, uh, smart dimension, the same as what you normally do. I'll do the top one, 80 by 40, it's the usual. Um, I'll press escape, I can move that, and I'll do my lines first, sketch, line, I'll do a line across the middle, press escape, sketch, line, I'll do a line, towards the middle there. Now, it's completely up to you, whatever way you do the title block, there's no set um, layout for this. It's whatever you think looks best. And just to get them the same, I'll do a few smart dimensions there too. So there to the center line, I'll make 10. And there to that point, I'll make 10 as well. Now, once you've got the measurements on, we can reposition then, we can click and drag whatever you think looks right. Might need to drag that top line down a little bit and the side one out a little bit more to the right. So you can reposition it whatever you think looks right on the page. Once you're happy with it, um, we can add text then. So annotation, um, note, you can click anywhere out here, type in, you'll have a few different things, say exam number. three, whatever you exam, you probably won't know it at the time. If you press escape, you can click, you can copy that rather than having to do it again, hold control and paste it up there at the top, hold control and drag. You can drag that into the boxes. You can fill in whatever information you think is best. Um, you might put in part A, assembly, working drawing or whatever you think works best there. We don't really need the measurements now, so I'm gonna press escape. I can delete the measurements, right click, um, or I can hide them just to get rid of them. And hide. Now, once you're happy with the um, border and title block there, we can use that for other sheets as well. So rather than doing that time and time again, you're probably going to have three or four of these different sheets in total for part A and part B. So say this is the one for part A, I'm going to go down to the bottom left hand side now. I'm going to click on that sheet one, right click and rename. Say we call it part A um, drawing one. And then if you want another sheet the same as that in the same file, you can right click and copy and then right click and paste. And I want it after the selected sheet, okay. And would this would be part A drawing one, or I can rename that uh, drawing two. So part A drawing two. 
So now you have the two of them. You can click between the two. One will be one and one will be the other. We go back then. Once you're finished with the border and title block, you can right click and edit sheet. Or another way of doing it is that one up there at the top. That goes back to edit the sheet then as well. And it turns it grey so that none of the lines move while you're putting on drawings and changing things around. So that's your sheet format there finished.